So this is the final SmackDown before Elimination Chamber, huh? You know, I'm not going to lie to you, the show was okay. It wasn't awful. The show started off with a moment of bliss, and everybody's uh, throwing a hissy fit that this is all Alexa Bliss is doing now. Yeah, 2016, all the way to 2019, during her tag team title run, she was on top. She was on top and always featured heavily. But now this year, she gets she gets downgraded to the mid card, and everybody can't stand. It's funny how that works. It's really funny how that works. You know, can't you just be happy that she had her moment in the sun? But no. But it seems like Alexa Bliss will be right back into the title picture because she called out the Kabuki Warriors on Moment of Bliss. Tell me what did Alexa Bliss do to have the right to call out the Kabuki Warriors? She's not the GM. She can't make up the rules. There's no GM. She can't just make up the rules as she goes. But whatever. It seems like that could be the match at WrestleMania. Just bring back the Iconics. They deserve to be the ones to the end of Kabuki Warriors' way. But anyway, getting a bit off topic here. The Alexa Bliss's guests were the NWO. Can I make a prediction? Can I make a prediction that I bet her next guest will be either Batista or JBL? Because it seems like all of her guests are now nothing more than just Hall of Fame inductees. Can I predict that her next guest will be another Hall of Fame inductee? Can, and also, can Moment of Bliss be renamed to Moment of Interruption? Because every single Moment of Bliss always gets interrupted. Minus the one with the Bella Twins. But, at the same time, it's so predictable. These talk shows are so predictable, you know something's going to happen. Now, if Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross were in their ring gear... I think it'd be obvious that it, it was going to be a female that was going to interrupt and they were going to have a match. Because they were not in their ring gear, it, it didn't make me think, okay, so it's not going to be like Sasha or Bailey or Mandy or Sonya that's going to interrupt, you know, a moment of bliss. And then out came Shinsuke Nakamura, Sami Zayn and Shinsuke, and I was like, well, I kind of figured somebody was going to interrupt. And then out came Braun Strowman. Sami Zayn ran his mouth for a while. Then out came Braun Strowman. Got the upper hand. On uh, He got the upper hand. So maybe he loses. Because normally whatever happens on the final shows. Whatever happens on the go home shows before the pay per views. Normally that leads to something. Normally that leads to either the person losing. Or they'll probably just have Braun Strowman win regardless. But either way, I feel like the Intercontinental Championship isn't made for Braun Strowman. I, like, I said, like I've said many times, I still can't take him seriously because he lost to Tyson Fury, who's a boxer. But I'm just going to say this very clearly. I'm just going to say this very clearly. The Intercontinental Championship is meant to be for wrestlers, you know, that are supposed to be technical wrestlers and, and wrestlers that can put on good matches. Braun Strowman isn't the type of guy that can put on a good match. Well, he can when when he's actually put up against the right opponent. But lately, he hasn't really been putting on a lot of good matches. I feel like the title really needs to go to someone like... I, I, I would want to say Shinsuke should win it back. But then again, it's Shinsuke Nakamura. Every time that guy gets his hands on a title, he always gets, you know, shaded in as an afterthought. I say, I say Sami Zayn steals the Intercontinental Championship away from, you know, maybe like a Cesaro or, or even Shinsuke when they're about to win. I feel like Sami Zayn should steal the Intercontinental Championship and steal the win. Because I feel like Sami Zayn, you know, I feel like Sami Zayn really needs to win a championship. I do. I personally do. This guy has been on the main roster since... How long has he been on the main roster? I think he's 
been on there since 2016? But he's been on there for a while. He's been on the main roster for a long time. I know Kevin came in 2015. I think 2016 Sammy came up. But... Like, Sammy's been there for a long time. He's been there for a long time. I feel like the guy deserves at least something. You know, give, give, th give this man his first title run, for goodness sake. He's a very good heel. He's actually a very good heel. And, uh... Braun Strowman came out, as I said. And then, uh... He beats up Nakamura and, uh... Cesaro. He takes them out of the equation. And Sami Zayn is left all by himself. And he hides behind Alexa Bliss... Like a human shield. I kind of find... I kind of found it humorous. I kind of found that very humorous. That he hid behind... Braun Strowman, who hid behind Alexa Bliss, who was Braun Strowman's mixed matched challenge tag team partner. So I kind of found that a little humorous. I'm surprised Braun Strowman didn't get all pissy that he put his hands on a woman. But either way, that was the first segment. Pretty awkward and pretty boring, I will definitely say. Next, we finally got to the good stuff. The stuff on WWE that matters. The women's wrestling. Naomi. Naomi and Lacey Evans took on Bailey and Sasha Banks. And Sasha Banks and Bailey got the victory. Sasha Banks got the pinfall on Naomi. After uh, Bailey distracted uh, Naomi, preventing her from doing the springboard legged moonsault. They didn't confirm a women's elimination chamber match. They didn't confirm that. They didn't confirm a women's elimination chamber for the SmackDown. For the SmackDown women. And they didn't even announce a match for Bailey to defend her title against. They didn't even announce her to defend her title against Naomi. So what was the whole point of this then? What was the whole point of this then? This whole thing should be leading to Sasha Banks and Bailey breaking up. That's what this thing should be all about. It should be all about them breaking up. That's what it needs to be about. Can't be about anything else. And can someone please tell me why Lacey Evans is still in the women's championship picture? This woman, this woman has been in the title picture since she first came up. Lacey Evans isn't exactly a good wrestler. You know, she can improve. She can improve in the ring. I'm not saying she can't. She can improve. But Lacey Evans just isn't ready. She just isn't ready. She's very sloppy sometimes. She's very sloppy sometimes. And Lacey Evans... I really do prefer her as a babyface over as a heel, but Lacey's just not ready. She's just not ready for, for this type of push. She really needs to be, you know, built up more. And more importantly, she needs to become more of a good wrestler. She's just not there yet. She's just not there yet. Naomi, I love Naomi. I'm glad she's in the title picture. I'm glad WWE's finally giving her an opportunity. And giving her something that she thoroughly deserves. But Naomi doesn't need the belt yet. Not yet. Not yet she doesn't. I feel like... I feel that Sasha Banks should be the champion after WrestleMania. And Naomi is the one that dethrones her at SummerSlam. Naomi is a perfect person to end Sasha's reign at SummerSlam. Or if they want to give Sasha Banks, you know, like the Becky Lynch reign and she runs through the whole division for one whole one whole year. Which I'm more doubting that on Sasha, but having her drop the title at SummerSlam would be a good time to give Sasha Banks a, uh, a good ending point to her reign. And I think Naomi is a good good candidate. To put an end to Sasha's reign. Just don't make it Ronda. For God's sake. <laughs> anyway. Um, so what was. So, so what was next. Oh yeah we had Sheamus. He beat Apollo Crews. Didn't care. Really 
didn't care. I really didn't. Uh, then we had Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville defeating Carmella and Dana Brooke. Thanks to Dolph Ziggler's assistance, that is. Uh, the jumping knee strike. I feel like that is actually a better finisher for Mandy Rose than the uh, fairy tale ending. Because that's Tommaso Ciampa's move. So I feel like that, that jumping knee strike is definitely a finishing move worthy of a golden goddess. So... So she did the jumping knee strike to Dana Brooke for the win. Um, Baron Corbin had a backstage segment with Elias. I'm guessing that's going to be Corbin's match at WrestleMania. Uh, Otis tried to apologize to Mandy. Mandy rejected him. I still think Sonya Deville is the one that sent the text message. I'm still convinced it was Sonya Deville. I'm not changing my mind. I'm not changing my mind one second. Sonya Deville was the one that brought Dolph Ziggler out there for their tag team match. You could clearly tell Sonya was like, come here. Sonya Deville being the one that brought out Dolph Ziggler clearly tells you she's the one that sent the text. And if, and if people are still not convinced it's Sonya Deville, then I don't know what else to tell you. You're just blind and you're completely, completely stupid. Bray Wyatt addressed... Bray, Bray Wyatt addressed his uh, WrestleMania match. I'm kind of disappointed that he didn't bring up what happened at Super Showdown before he talked about John Cena. But then again, if he's not going to talk about it, then I guess that means he really didn't care if he was champion. That he... That he lost the Universal Championship, but but whatever. Um, I actually like what they did here. That they brought up what happened at WrestleMania 30. I do like that that they brought up uh, Bray's past or what happened when the last time he met John Cena. I hope they actually keep that stuff going because when John Cena and Bray Wyatt had their feud, they actually had a they actually had a pretty decent feud through Stream Rules and Payback. I hope they keep showing some of their flashbacks because I thought it was really good. I just hope The Fiend beats John Cena at WrestleMania. I just really feel like that's what John Cena should do. And then finally was the gauntlet match. Otis and Tucker ran the gauntlet. They were given the Kofi Kingston. They were given the Kofi Kingston treatment here. They beat the New Day. They ended up beating the, the Lucha Summer House Party. And then they ended up beating the Usos, which that was a bit of a surprise. I thought that was when their run was going to come to an end. And then they beat Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey, ho, ho. And then and then Miz and Morrison completely beat up uh, Otis. And out came Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode as the final entrance. And I knew the outcome after that. Ziggler and Roode winning just was just way too predictable and just way too obvious. It was clearly obvious that Ziggler and Rude were going to win after what happened there. It was a very good it was a very good showing for Heavy Machinery. Heavy Machinery had a very good showing here. I really hope they become tag team champions one day because they're really, really good. They're a really good team. I really like Heavy Machinery. So, so, so Ziggler and Rude will be entering the uh, pods last. Why do I feel like Otis and Tucker are going to start the elimination chamber, and then in order for them to get there, in order for Otis to get his hands on Dolph Ziggler, he and Tucker have to survive the entire elimination chamber to just get ju ju just to get to Dolph and Root, just to get to Dolph. But either way, that was pretty much just SmackDown. There was no Cena, no Roman, no Goldberg, which was a bit of a surprise. They did do a few announcers, like Edge's return. I mean, we all knew he was going to come back at some point. But of course, people are, are upset that they're just announcing his return. WWE announced everything. WWE announced everything nowadays, so why are people surprised anymore? But anyway, other than that, They've also got Stone Cold coming in. I honestly really don't care. They're bringing back so much nostalgia acts. Edge is one of them. But anyway, 
Thank you all so much for joining me for this SmackDown review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. And I will see you all next time.